How does Facebook calculate engagement rate? I published a video recently showing you how you could find your engagement rate on Facebook. Two ways you could find your engagement rate on Facebook. And one of those was really simple. It was in Facebook page insights. But then I got a question. Do you know the actual formula that Facebook uses to work out the engagement rate? The engagement stroke total reach doesn't equal the engagement rate that Facebook comes up with. That should be easy to work out, right? Because we know engagement rate is the number of engagements divided by the reach multiplied by 100. And all of those statistics are easy to find in Facebook page insights. So I went and had a look. On this post, Facebook tells us the engagements are 19 plus two, which equals 21. I divided that by the reach was 375 and I multiplied it by 100 which comes out at 5.6% which I rounded down to 6%. What does Facebook say? 4%? What? Are you sure you calculated that right? Odd. So I tried it again but this time with a video post. And the engagements on this video post, according to Facebook, were 67 plus 42, which equals 109. Let's divide that by the reach of 1,400, multiply it by 100, 8%. What does Facebook say? 4%. Wait, what is going on? And then it occurred to me. The same person could be leaving multiple comments on a post, they could be reacting to the post, they could be sharing the post. So Facebook could be using unique engaged people rather than the number of engagements. How do we find out? We can download some data. So click on the overview tab, click on export data, select post data, and download. This is gonna give you a really ugly Excel spreadsheet and there is a ton of data there. So how are we going to use it to find out how Facebook calculates engagement rate? Well, the thing is in this spreadsheet, it shows you the exact number of engaged Facebook users on each individual post. So we'll be able to find out, is that the metric that Facebook are using to calculate engagement rate? Let's go find it. Here's that post that we were looking at and I'm going to highlight it so it's easier to see the numbers that we need. Firstly, let's get the reach from column I. 373, that matches what Facebook page insights say. Then scroll all the way over to column O and this is giving us the unique users for that post, which is 15. Now, if you remember, our initial calculation was 21. Time to plug those statistics into the formula. 15 divided by 373 multiplied by 100 gives us 4%. 4%, yes, that is exactly what Facebook said it was. Just to be sure, let's try it with that video post as well. I'm gonna highlight it again, just so it's easy to follow the line. And we can see that reach is exactly 1,400. Unique engaged users is 61. 61 divided by 1,400 multiplied by 100 is 4%, which is exactly what Facebook said. What does this mean? Well, firstly, it means that Facebook doesn't take into account video views when it's calculating the engagement rate. And I guess that makes sense really, because if you want to see how video posts perform against other posts, including video views would skew that data. And I'd actually argue that this way of calculating engagement rate with unique engaged users is probably the best and most accurate way to do it. But here's the thing, engagement rate is important however you calculate it, as long as you're calculating it consistently. So if you rely on those statistics in Facebook page insights, that's how you should calculate your engagement rate. Don't use another statistic. After all that investigation and the maths, 
it actually looks like the best way to measure your engagement rate on Facebook is just to use that little drop down menu in Facebook page insights. But you know what? Wouldn't you like to know more about the videos that you post on Facebook? How many people are watching them? How long are people watching them for? Is it even worthwhile you uploading your videos to Facebook? That's what we're gonna cover in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.